Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Harry Wolf and I talk about code on this channel. Today I'm gonna to be delving into a topic that I haven't really seen that much around. It's uh, TypeScript that you have seen a lot on the internet because it's very exciting, still relatively new, especially compared to JavaScript itself, so it's very new there. And there's many blogs and videos, tutorials about how to use TypeScript. But the question that I wanna kind of delve into today is, should you use TypeScript? And it's a, maybe a very personal choice, uh, one that is truly up to you, depending upon your needs and desires. But I figured I'd kind of delve into this subject and explore both sides to answer the question if you should use TypeScript. And again, the ultimate answer is it depends. It always depends in the world of code and programming because nothing is really black and white. It's all gray. But I figured I'd explore the black and the white of this argument to kind of give you additional things to think about whether you want to pull and use TypeScript or just keep using the JavaScript that you love. Uh, so that being said, let's start delving into this subject matter. Okay, so let's start with why you should not use TypeScript. I have four points, four balls that I'm going to be um, juggling, trying to tell you how, how to think about whether you shouldn't use JavaScript, TypeScript. I'm back. Um, first thing first, you shouldn't use TypeScript if you're just learning JavaScript. That's the first point. There's a lot to learn if you're starting from the beginning with JavaScript. It's a whole world, especially if you've never done programming before, narrow your scope and just focus on one thing at a time and just focus on JavaScript. TypeScript adds a whole extra layers, many layers of complexity on top of JavaScript that is going to do you no favors when you actually are trying to become proficient and effective with JavaScript or TypeScript. So focus on one thing. Don't try to overload yourself with two things at once. Uh, the second point, the second point, Al, is if you are working on a small team. If you're on a team of 10 engineers or less, I would argue that TypeScript doesn't truly add that much value. Yes, it will definitely add some value if you add TypeScript at any point in a project's life cycle, but if you have a pretty small code base and a pretty small team developing on it, less than 10 is my random number I pulled from, you're not gonna be running into the issues that TypeScript tries to solve by making things a little bit more knowable and quantifiable. You can kind of just talk amongst yourself and know what's going on and develop the application. Which brings me to the third point, which is that JavaScript without TypeScript lets you move so much faster, like that ball. If you need to just get something out the door as quick as possible and not really worrying about, is it right, is it fast, you just wanna get it done and out there, don't use TypeScript. TypeScript will slow you down. It just apps, either it'll slow you down or you're gonna add a lot of any or unknown types everywhere just to not have the TypeScript compiler yelling at you. So if you're on a small team and you're trying to get things out the door and you don't really need all the things that TypeScript brings, just use vanilla JavaScript. You are able to just do so much more. We don't have to worry about types and making the type checking gods happy by making sure that everything type checks correctly. And the fourth point, which again, I kind of said up front, is you don't want to. Just because TypeScript's there does not mean that you need to use it. I don't know if anybody's told you that, but it's okay to not use it if you don't like it. And I might hear the comments already saying this is a silly point, but I think it also has value in being said. I think there's a lot of value in saying the unsaid things. If you don't like TypeScript, if you don't want TypeScript, if you don't want to use it, don't. Listen to yourself, ignore the world, and focus on what you want to do most for your needs. If you don't want to use TypeScript, then do not. Okay, now let's talk about why you should use TypeScript. And the first and most obvious one is if you want type safety. That is the whole reason that TypeScript was created for type safety. And that's the thing that you value, that you want, that you need, then TypeScript is the obvious answer. In addition to that, what is also great about adding types to your JavaScript code is it unlocks this whole world of tooling around it that makes the entire developer experience phenomenal. Uh, when you actually use a TypeScript code base with VS Code, with IntelliJ, all these other editors that can hook into IntelliSense, you get all these wonderful autocompletes and all these tools that 
are impossible in vanilla JavaScript land. Not fully impossible, but a lot harder. I love features such as being able to extract functionality into a separate function or being able to just do code refactors without any worry. Um, that's one of the coolest things I've seen is if you want to rename a variable, uh, TypeScript with IntelliSense and VS Code integration just works. It makes me no longer envious of the uh, Java or other backend engineers IDEs that have all these wonderful features that I can just now have my cake and uh, eat it too. And speaking of cake, and by cake I mean backend developers, if you have a lot of backend developers that you're working with that are working on the same front end code base, uh, that's another reason to potentially turn to TypeScript is that it is very friendly to backend engineers because it just looks more familiar. Uh, JavaScript kind of scares people sometimes. It can be a little bit loosey-goosey, a little bit too freeform, and by adding the loving comfort of types, you get this nice um, sense of familiarity for backend engineers to kind of pick it up and go forward with things. I mean, there's a whole page on the TypeScript documentation pages about TypeScript for Java and C-sharp engineers. Like, it's it's very aware that it can help them get onboarded into the land of front end a lot easier. And related to that is ball falling. If you're working on a big team, which might involve back end, front end, full stack engineers, and you have a big code base, TypeScript is at some point, I would argue, essential, especially for a code base of a certain size, where it honestly becomes impossible to fully understand what's going on in every part of the code base. Adding types lets you get more control and safety as you develop and iterate on the product. It is so important, not just for a type safety side, but also for a documentation side. Uh, I can only tell you how many times I've read a code base and there's some function that has an object, an options object, which is just a bag of options, and I have no idea what's on there. And that's terrifying to me. I have to kind of read the code and mentally map out what's going on to kind of piece together what arguments is in that options object. Whereas with TypeScript, it can just be typed as an interface and I am happy and able to know what's going on. So for a code base and a team of a particular size, TypeScript, I would argue, is almost essential for something that is that large. And of course, last but not least, you should use TypeScript if you want to. That's it, I'm not gonna expand on it more. So, a few helpful points for you to consider about whether you should or should not use TypeScript in your projects. There's, ultimately, decision lies with you, what you want, what you need. Hopefully some of these points kind of add some more color to those decisions and makes you kind of think about things that maybe you did not already. But I'm curious to hear from you in the comments why you use TypeScript or don't use TypeScript or where there's been a time where you usually use TypeScript and then you didn't or vice versa. What do you think about when you consider what tools to use for your projects? That is the uh, question of the video. Thank you for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, do become one. Also, I told there's a bell that you can hit so you get notified when my face pops up immediately because I enjoy that. You can watch me juggle more of both my juggling balls and also my life and all my pre commitments therein. Uh, I'll see you again next week with a brand new video. Until then, stay happy, stay coded.